Hello everybody, this is Stringing Me Up for a Primal Cartilage Extinction video and we're doing something different this time because we are going to do a tier list for all of the Team Deathmatch maps in the game. Um, how I will rank this tier list, it'll be based on how fun the map is, how balanced the map is in terms of, you know, does it favour humans, does it favour dinosaurs, how well, how good the layout of the map is, so like access points, choke points if you get, if you get my drift. Other factors like special events on the map, how good a map is, you know, how good the uh, visuals are on said map, which is not really that much of a factor for me, but <laughs> there we go. Let's get started, shall we? And yeah, I'm not ranking the Get to the Chopper maps, and Pandoria isn't in this video because nobody ever plays on that map. <laughs> well, we, what we got? What, what the bloody hell is this map? <laughs> All the user players kept only recognizing my Okay, that's uh, a base. Hmm. Air base. Um, you're alright. Pros. I like the fact that it's in the nighttime and the rain aesthetic is really nice. And I like the heli when all the humans are on the helipad and you like bosh them all off with acro. I mean, come on. Everyone gets satisfactory doing that with acro. You just go on the helipad, stomp, kill everyone on there. It just feels so good. Um, cons, there are quite, there are a fair few, like, um, long sites for scientists and other human classes to exploit. You know, there's like a long corridor, this, you get some cover, but not much. But yeah, overall, I think, you know, this, it's a very balanced map, if I gotta be honest. I think it's just, I, I think it's alright, you know, it's really good. It, it did get a redesign, I think, a couple of years back, and that, you know, hasn't made much difference, it's just made it brighter. And with the promise of nighttime variants of these maps coming into the game as well, I'll be interested to see how that plays out. Right, now for the docks. Okay, yeah, the docks, I think a lot of people can agree. I think it's really good. Really good map. One of my favourite maps to play. Um, yeah, you could play loads of classes. It's just a perfectly well thought out map. However... I won't say it's the best map because, in my experience, there are a, there are a fair few rounds that do feel oppressive to play, and for that reason, I do think this 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 map does miss out on the best tier list. <laughs> but it is a very solid map and probably the best out of the really good maps that will be in the tier. Okie dokie. Okay, we got a uh, forest castle. Okay, this is definitely one of my favorites. And actually, I am going to put it up here. I I love the redesign of the forest chasm. I think there was an area where the tyrants couldn't access, but they can access it now, which I thought was a really good change. Um, there are areas that humans do like to camp a lot. So I think the ledge bit and right in front of the uh, bridge. I think those are the two main points that the humans like to loiter around. But, you know, you get a decent amount of cover as a tyrant. You know, you could, you could practically do well with any class on this map. So, I really do like the map. And it is definitely one of my favourites. Ah, the Falls. Another nighttime map. But I think you're alright. Uh, I think you're better than Airbase. I will say that. And, well, my favourite bit is the uh, ramp bit where you can play as Tupor or Kano and you just get big hits, yeeting them miles away and killing them instantly. Now, there are a few, like, little um, exploits that you can use on this map. So, actually, yeah, I'm going to put it below air base because of the exploit points that people do tend to use, which is really annoying. I mean,. I wish people would not do it, or the devs would at least try to stop it, but, uh, <laughs> oh well. Live and hope, I guess. Live and hope. But yeah, that really does let the map down to an extent. But, I do think it is a decent, I do enjoy playing on it. Right, up to the waterlogged tier. Uh, uh, duh, duh, duh. I, I, you're awful, I, I'm sorry. I love the map aesthetic, I love the uh, layout of the map, I love the design of the map, it's just in terms of actually playing on the map, it can be very t 
tough to play on. Like, especially when a human team is so dominant, you can hardly do anything. You know, as a... You could play Spitter, but you get, like, no cover as a Spitter. You get no protection as a Tyrant. You get... It is a very tough map to play on. And, you know, I, I do feel it does... It is a human favoured map. And there's nothing wrong with that, because there are Dino favoured maps too, but... Coming from someone who feels like dinosaurs being strong is the lesser evil. Yeah, <laughs> it's an awful tier. I think what would fix the map is... More cover for tyrants, I think, would be a good improvement. And you know what? Why they have an event, like, where the water rises up, you know, from, to a certain level? Of course, then, on this map, you would have to have elevation points. Otherwise, <laughs> all the humans would just die. <laughs> but yeah, that would be pretty cool if they just had something like that. In fact, I'd love it if more of these maps had special events throughout the round. But yeah, this map definitely, as good as it looks, it definitely leaves a lot to be desired. Right, now for Sandstorm Valley. Probably the first controversial pick of this session. Because I know a lot of you guys absolutely hate this map. But... I don't think it's that bad. And I, this is going to surprise a lot of people. I actually do like Sandstorm Valley. It does... It is a wide open map. So playing Flyer on this map is... <laughs> it definitely leads to a bad time. Because you have no cover. And the scientists have range throughout the entire map. So it... You know, there is our downside. But obviously some maps favour certain classes and then other maps favour other classes. But I don't think Sandstorm Valley is as bad as people make out, in all honesty. Other than the whole lack of protection for flyers, and lack of anything for flyers, I don't think it's that bad of a map. You know, I, yes, people can say that, oh yeah, it's really good for scientists, but I've seen dinosaur teams dominate on this map as well. You know, if you're smart with Tyrant, you can, you can still get to the humans, regardless of what they do. And while this map is good for scientist players, you know, other human classes, in my experience, I found have struggled here. So I feel like Pyro struggles on this map, Pathfinder can struggle here. But, you know, from my experience, my better scores on that map are with scientists. And my worst scores are with Pyro, Pathfinder, Trapper, don't do too bad with Commando, though. But, you know, Commando's just the goat on everything. Ah, another con controversial map, Contingency. Um, you're in the redesigned tier. I actually think Contingency is a good map. I do. But it is, the wor it is by far the worst map in the entire game for playing Tyrant. It is horrendous. Now, I like the concept of the elevation. I do think that's cool, but... Oh, it just gives humans such a massive advantage. And even though you get very little cover on this map, well, you get no cover on this map at all playing as a flyer, I do feel like you can play flyer on this map. I don't think this is horrific as it is on Sandstorm Valley. And, oh, and well, <laughs> if you play Bruiser, you can knock him off and then get insta-kill. So there are pros and cons to the uh, contingency, and I do think the pros outweigh the cons. But I will say... For the sake of tyrants needing better love on this map, it does need a redesign. I would probably change it so it would have so tyrants have more access points. And maybe to an extent, maybe just lower the elevation so that they're at convenient biting height for the tyrants. Maybe that would be a good change. You know, okay, tyrants can't get up there, but maybe have like different ups and downs. Kind of like on Utility Base, where there is elevation, but the Tyrants can still get you. And, well, if you jump down, you can't shoot the Tyrant then, can you? So I think something similar to U-Base would be a good redesign for Contingency. And, well, don't change the but the funny button, because it is the fun button, and I love it. Obviously, they need to fix a few glitches and that, but, yeah. I do think it needs a redesign, but that's not because I think it's a bad map. Okay, this is Verdant, and this is actually my favourite map in the entire game. 
I absolutely love Verdant. I thought, think the redesign of it is fantastic. I think I, I, it's, it's just an awesome map. Now, even though it is my favourite map, and even though I think it's the best map in the game, it's not without its flaws. And one of its flaws, I do feel like Spitters get too much protection on this map. And they, they are a pain in the ass to kill. Like, they can spit you, and you can't shoot them, because they're hiding. It's... I would personally change some of the roofs on the, on the map to be slanted, so that the Spitters would have a little bit less protection. I think that would be a change that I would like to see. But other than that, yeah, I think it's a very solid map, very well balanced. You know, I, I see humans win on there, dinos win on there. It is 50-50, I think. A very good map, and in my opinion, the best map in the game. Again, you know, I think transfer is a good example for conting for contingency, because the elevation, I think, is fair on transfer, on the basis that even though the humans are elevated, the tyrants can still get them. So I have no problem with the elevation on this map. And even though spitters do well on here, there's still like points where you can shoot them. They don't get, they're not overprotected like they are on Verdun. Again, like I said, with the high ground, even that with that, tyrants can still get joy on this map. Bruisers can get joy. You can do well with practically any class on this map. I think its changes were really, really good. I think it got changed a couple of years ago to reduce the uh, funneling of the si the range of the uh, scientist, the radius. So it can't shoot you from the other side of the map. I think that was a very good change. I love the acid tank. I just love the map. I just think it's really good. Okay, now for utility base. Yeah, you're all right. Um, again, I think the changes were a good change. The slight elevation, but well, the humans don't camp up there anyway, so it kind of is irrelevant. I think the elevation on the uh, mountain bit is okay because this two access points a lot of people play flyer on that map so you have to be wary of toopers and well humans don't camp up there unless they're scientists so it's not too big of an issue like it is on contingency that being said i just find the map a bit generic and boring if i gotta be honest I, if they added like an event in on this map it would be a bit more fun and engaging to play but right now for the marsh i think you're marsh aren't you uh you've had a couple of redesigns if i gotta be honest i preferred it before it got redesigned that being said i still think i think it's all right i think it's better than you base um you get good cover if you're a spitter you get good coverage as a tyrant you know, the round can be 50-50. I think it's a pretty good balanced map. But I will say, I preferred the way it was before. Okay, now for Desertion Point. Again, it has the uh, helipad like on airbase. But, um... Yeah, I, I'm not really fussed on this map, if i got to be honest. The uh, elevation at the top is a big problem because that gives you, like, full coverage of the entire map. Which is a big issue. And you have like an entire side of the map that gives you like high ground advantage as well. So not keen on that. And yeah, I'm not really keen on this map in general. Okay, now for Borealis. Uh, the, the, the Borealis. You're okay. I think you're, not, you're an alright map. There's a lot of glitchy parts on this map where you get stuck. Especially when you're playing a bruiser and it can cost you. I think it's a decent map. I don't know why people like crap on this map so badly. I don't think it's that bad. Other than, like, like, well, like I just said, the bug, the uh, getting the stuck at all the time. And that is that can be annoying. Um, humans camping inside the building. You know, I, I don't think the camp points are that problematic. Most of the time, in my experience, the dinos just go around the back. Maybe the access points for the dinos could be better. Like, I think there's like a top of the building where maybe they could have put a hole in there and have like a little days of cliffs for the dinos to jump up and, you know, come from that side. Maybe that would be a cool change. Okie dokie, now for Snowbound. Oh boy, Snowbound, the map that 
a lot of people hate this map, but this is going to cause a stir. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of my favourite maps. I'm sorry, it just is. I just love the map so much. But I get annoyed because I play on Deep Air. And every time this map shows up, the admin changes it because they hate the map. I mean, you're a freaking admin and you hate the map so much. Why is it in the roster? Like, honestly, I love this map. Now, it is one of those maps where it is extreme. It can be extreme in the sense that you either do really good on it or you're going to get slaughtered. And I do think the spawn points are a big problem on this map. Of course, to be honest, I think spawning in general is pretty bad in this game anyway, so nothing new there. You could play practically anything on this map and do well. It is a dino favoured map, in my opinion. But that shouldn't take away the fact that it's a good map. I think it's a really good map, and people definitely... While I can understand their gripes with it, maybe people are overreactive. Right, you base, no, you're basically utility base, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, I think the uh, other version of it is better. There's not much to say, to be honest. Again, again, likewise, not much to say about that one. It's just a snowy version of Forest Chasm. Right, now for Dead Tide. You know, arguably the most dino-favoured map in the game. I do think it needs a redesign, though. And I only say that because of the amount of times playing dino you can get stuck on practically anything on this map and maybe humans need a tad bit more protection now i have seen humans win on this map before mine you know this isn't a stomp for the guaranteed stomp for the dinos long way from that but maybe the map could do with a little tweaking refining fix some of the bugs on the map other than that, I actually do it like the map. I think it's a good map. Unless you're playing Pyro, then. <laughs> good luck. Okay, this one is Forgotten Outposts. Yeah, you just need a redesign. Again, I like the concept of the map. I think the map is really cool. It's just too big. If they shrunk it down a bit, maybe have like the building area and then slightly out into the forest. And then maybe they could have like a forest, another forest area is another map maybe. That could be something they could definitely do. Make two maps. Just split the map in half and have two maps. And maybe have like the uh, out forest outpost. And then just forest. Actually now that I think about it. They haven't got a fo you know they haven't got a map just called forest. I know they've got forest chasm but they haven't got like. Maybe like deep forest. That would be an interesting suggestion. Okay last map of this session. We have got the volcano map. You just need a redesign. I love the map. I think the map is awesome. It's aesthetically cool. Um, the bit with the humans camp up is a little bit too high. Humans do have way too much high ground advantage on this map. It wouldn't be too bad if maybe they could have the high ground. But have like a little cliff surrounding the edge so that the humans can't shoot down. So the dinos coming up would have a little bit of cover. But yeah, this map just needs a redesign. To be honest, like with uh, Forest Outpost, I just split it in half. I'd have one half be like more volcanic y, lava y, and then the other half be like the facility with the lava falls in the background. And maybe you could have like an eruption event where, you know, lava spews out of a volcano and it just like overflows at the bottom, and then you've got to get to the high ground to stay alive. That would be a cool little. God, I'm, I'm so good with suggestions, aren't I? So when do the devs don't hire me? <laughs> But I know nothing about programming again. Right, and yeah, that is it. Okay, there is one map missing from here. That's Pandoria. Pandoria would probably be in uh, needs a redesign tier. I don't think... I think that map is more for aesthetic than actual gameplay. I love the concept of low gravity on the map. I think it's an awesome concept. And I wish they, the devs would explore more interesting concepts like that. You know, in terms of gameplay, it's not really <laughs> well balanced. But if they've got a proper redesign to be more optimised for actual gameplay balance, then yeah, Pandoria would be definitely a really good map. Okay, I think that's it now. As for the Get to the Chopper maps, I think my favourite one, probably the Falls. 
and then the docks and then downpour which needs a redesign because it's an awful map and uh, phantom cave needs a redesign because the gate is always over in a flash <laughs> but yeah that's a i think that's about it now so yeah hope you enjoyed and do you agree with my tier list i'm sure no one's going to agree with my tier list because i got snow pound in the best tier <laughs> but actually yeah pop your comments down below pop your opinions i i really do like hearing your guys' opinion on these maps. And until next time, ta-ta!